What's up everyone, Andy aka The Tech Guru here for All That Tech and today we're going to be talking about virtual green screens. You're probably wondering what the heck is a virtual green screen? The answer is a little complicated but quite simple at the same time. Basically it's a software that mimics a green screen or makes your camera think there's a green screen somewhere behind you and then it basically edit edits out all the stuff behind you. So as you can see right now in this frame I have a door, I have a workout pull-up bar thing that attaches to the said door. I have a TV, I have another workstation here, and then two more doors, and I don't have anything green in the background. The closest color I come to green is this chair right here, which is blue, so that you may not see that once I turn on this uh, green screen program called Chroma Cam, which is for 30 bucks or for free, depending on if you want to leave the watermark up on top of your screen. If you're a streamer, this is extremely useful software. Now for me, I don't like green screens because I don't like the hassle of putting them up taking them down, putting them up, taking them down. Uh, it's going to be a lot better to have a green screen versus this Chroma Cam software. But at the end of the day, if you don't want to spend money because you're just starting out streaming, it's a great software. Or if you just have very little money, 30 bucks, it's not a bad way to go. There are green screens out there. They're like 24 bucks, but that's without the stand. That's just literally the green screen itself. So you might have to spend another few dollars, maybe another 20 30 bucks on the stand so that's 60 bucks 60 bucks is not bad it's still very doable but the software is 30 bucks if you want to remove the watermark if you want to leave the watermark and just use the green screen features then it's free so you really can't beat that in my opinion this software actually works really great i'm actually about to show you right now and here we are as you can see the background that was behind me is now completely gone and i just have a green screen effect on the screen now if i do move around a little bit on the outside of my arm you can see as the camera's trying to fill in so it's a little bit grainy it doesn't work that well but for what it does for the price that it is the 30 dollars one-time fee it's not that bad. And again, the name of the software is called Chroma Cam. I'll link it in the description below. They're not sponsoring this video. This is just software that I found, that I found super useful if you're a streamer, if you're a YouTuber and you want the background to go away, if you just want to do videos like this where the background is no longer bothering you. And the best part that I should have probably mentioned in the beginning is that it works very well with OBS. And I'll show you guys how to set that up right now. So once you have the camera software downloaded which and again i'll have the link in the description for 30 bucks you have no water no watermarks custom backgrounds and logos and you can also do powerpoint slides now i haven't tested the powerpoint slide feature yet so i don't know if that does the powerpoint slides behind you or in front of you but i guess if you want powerpoint slides behind you there you go 30 bucks otherwise it's free all right so other than that you have different backgrounds you can select from like this brick wall actually I think the brick wall works a little bit better in my opinion I mean you still have where you kind of get out of the range of the camera I guess if you go a certain height or certain ways I'm, I'm trying to do it now I just did it a little bit ago but I guess because there is a decent enough lighting it still works but as you can see if I split my fingers like that you can see some of the wall behind me and you can see the software trying to fill it in so it's not perfect by any means but again, if it's free, you have the Chroma Cam, not Chroma Cam, Chroma Cam logo somewhere watermarked either here or here. I'm not quite exactly sure where it goes. Um, but other than that, I mean, again, for free, it's really not that bad. And the green screen effect is actually pretty damn good for 30 bucks. It's probably the cheapest green screen you're going to get. And you don't have to lift up a green screen and pull it down if you don't want to have to cut off your room because that's where you're working and you just, after you're done doing your video you just want to put it down so you can have a nice open room you don't have to do that with this software it's again software so it stays on your desktop let me go ahead and hide all that mess away for anybody wondering what i just used it is called fences you, i'll put the, the link in the description box below as well so i'm just gonna go ahead and hide that because i like a nice clean desktop just because that's just the way i am um, you have different filters you can do too you can add your custom logos the, again the background it's you got this office thing i have no idea what that is you have a ferris wheel no idea where that ferris wheel is this mountain there is no it looks like a california mountains maybe i don't know whoever knows comment in the description not comment in the description below but just comment below because you guys can't comment in the descriptions It'd be weird you have this weird bubbly background starry background i don't know what to call it but my favorite is just this background all right so 
Now, let me go ahead and show you guys how I set this up on my OBS. So you create a scene. I just called mine PC gaming. You can call it whatever you want. So create a scene by hitting the plus down there. Then you go ahead and I have a cam link that connects my DSLR camera to my computer. So it's the Agato cam link. Again, description below will have the link. So I have a cam link. That's why I called this the cam link. But you don't have to call it that. You can call it whatever you want. So you go to video capture devices is the way I did it. Now, there are other ways to do it, but video capture devices is really just the best way to do it, at least for my setup. So I go to video capture devices. You can add existing videos if you have one there. You can create a new device if you're just setting this up for the first time. And I went to existing. I did the camera link, the cam link, not the camera link, the cam link, and then they went up there, and that, that's pretty much it. Now, from here, you go to properties. This is where you can select what your camera what camera you would want so i named it camera link because you can select the elgato game capture which i have running the cam link which is just a regular camera or chroma cam now you want to select chroma cam because it'll take the default camera that you have connected to your computer so if you have a laptop it'll take the front little camera unless you change it to make it take a better camera like the a dslr a streaming i think it's cp22 or 20 um Logitech camera, you can do that as well. I don't know how well it works with those. I'll have to test it out and post a video and let you guys know. But after you hit the Chroma cam, you just hit OK, and then it'll add it here, and then it'll appear here in the corner or wherever you set yours. I set mine in the corner, like so. Now, there is one more thing. If you go to filters, you have to add the Chroma key. Without the Chroma key and type green, it will not work. Like, this will not work at all. I think if I do magenta, See, I go back to green. You just have a green screen background. Uh, if you go to custom, I guess custom works because the default color key is green because it senses the background. But I just do green. You can do blue, but then it look like this. So no go for me. Again, I just do green. So to add the effects, you just don't hit this plus button because that's audio video filters. That's for up here. You hit this plus button here. And then you do chroma key, you hit OK, don't do a second chroma key, you only need one for the green screen, hit close, and then voila, transparent background. And let me just move that out of the way so you guys can see. It has a lot of awesome stuff. You can stay in classic mode or you can go to streamer mode. And in streamer mode, as you can see, I have this whoosh thing. You have people, you can laugh, uh, you can have your twitch bot go ahead and custom basically spam emojis so if somebody in your chat spamming emojis that would be horrible if that's all they see all the time but you can have different effects um you can choose no effects crying whale snowing you can add again add your own puppy barking tornado no oh, i thought it'd be one big giant tornado not a little chili peppers i guess star background sun you guys get the idea it's really fun there's a comment Ooh, cat all right i have a kitty background money money background doesn't really do anything i guess neither does the shamrock it's weird guy laughing getting trolled fire background that's kind of cool kind of looks like i have a halo of fire Anyway, like I said, you guys can just play with this. It adds different backgrounds. It does your tw Twitch bot. You can set up your own custom Twitch bot. So I think if somebody does an emote or a premium emote, it'll show up in your background. It might get kind of annoying if people start spamming it. Beth scrolls? What? Anyway, so here you can do classic. Now, because I have the cam link set up to my obs on this screen right here which you guys can't see i have the preview turned off normally you can turn on the preview oh there we go and i want oh and the agato or the obs still is capturing it so that's not a big deal and you guys can see exactly what the camera will look like how it's going to function what the background will look like and you have this weird like comic book trippy logo thing and then you have that and whatever this is and then as you can see when i'm streaming it on this screen right there or on or right here, wherever I am below it, right here in the corner where I'm at, I'm actually somewhere right here. You can see that whatever you're previewing is whatever is gonna show up. In my case, I have the camera moved a little bit 
off center so you it, it may cut off part of the image you can also add your own custom image if you're so inclined to do that so if you have a custom logo you can do that you can also add your own logo in the background so over logo overlay top right um like i said in this case it like i guess it was the top right you can change the size you can basically add it wherever you want whatever logo you want and i'm gonna go back to the top right yeah there it is so if you don't pay that's basically what you're gonna see and you can't have this custom background you just have that so that's basically what you're gonna see is chroma cam up in the corner if you don't pay the 30 bucks in my opinion if you're just starting out this is a great free software that works with obs so you start out with obs which is free uh, you start out with this which is free and you just have that little chrome cam up right there in the top right corner and you just start streaming until you make your first bit of money to go ahead and pay now i'd still recommend a green screen and proper lighting if you're really going to go down that route but if you don't have the money or are tight on money this is a great alternative again free you can't beat that 30 bucks for what it can do it's amazing i mean green screens are a little more expensive and it pretty much does the feature of a green screen this is a virtual green screen after all so let me know what you guys think of this software. All the links that I talked about will be in the description below, including I'll try to find my camera specs and link that in the description. I will try to get the fences link, see if I can, if they still make that software. I've been using it for a while, so hopefully it's still around. I still get updates, so yay. Good news, right? So fences will be in the description. Chroma Cam will be in the description. Uh, follow me on Twitch and YouTube. So if you are not part of the tech army, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And um, on Twitch, I can actually play with it. And I'm going to let you guys spam me some emotes while I'm playing and have some funny random stuff happen to me. Maybe I'll have like a shark or something that comes in from the top and like tries to knob at or bite my head off or something. I don't know. But I'll have my Twitch link in the description box below. It's just twitch.tv dash the tech groove. So go ahead and follow me there. I'll be live. I'll interact with these. So if you have any questions for me, that's one of the better ways to reach me or at all that tech at gmail.com. I've seen some of you guys post questions on other videos. I will try to get to those as quickly as I can. I just haven't had a lot of time lately, just life. And I'll try to answer all your questions. I promise you guys, I will. So thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, this is Andy, aka The Tech Guru for All That Tech. Hope you guys have a kick-ass day.